the City of St. Paul Public Pools Green Initiative. The City of St. Paul's Public Pools Green Initiative is a great example of using innovative new technology to reduce the use of toxic chemicals. Mayor Chris Coleman discusses the city's motivation for working on this project. Well, first of all, we want it to be more environmentally friendly. Uh, the less chemicals that we can use, the better. Second of all, the more money we can save, the better. So uh, when we reduce the number of chemicals that we're using, the amount of chemicals, we're obviously going to save some, some resources. In addition, we just want a better experience for the bathers. We want a better experience for the people that were coming out there with their kids. Uh, and all around, it's proven to be a success. The city partnered with Creative Water Solutions and U.S. Aquatics to use sphagnum moss as a water conditioning and treatment agent in the filtration systems of public swimming pools. This was the first time moss had been used for this purpose. The project has provided some surprising results. The greatest benefit from the moss treatment system is how well it manages biofilm. And biofilm uh, is created when bacteria actually adhere to the surface. Uh, a lot of the work that has been done for years in microbiology, uh, again, thought that bacteria like to be in suspension, i.e. floating around in the, in the water, but now it's known they actually like to adhere to a surface where they can create their own little community, um, where they can communicate with each other, they can actually communicate through, chem through chemical signals, they can communicate through actual touching and, and, and cytoplasmic uh, um, processes. So it's, it kind of forms a little city for them where they have different types of bacteria perform different types of functions. So it's a, it's a, very, it's a very unique community and, uh, and it's unique to each different individual water system. Biofilm is present everywhere, from the tartar that forms on teeth to the foam that washes up on shorelines. The biofilm that forms in swimming pools absorbs chlorine, which kills only the bacteria closest to the outermost edges. The rest of the bacteria remain unharmed in the depths of the biofilm colony, where it can affect swimmers. Dr. David Knighton, CEO and President of Creative Water Solutions, describes the difficulty he encountered while attempting to balance the chemicals in his own home spa. So, I'm a chemistry major and I couldn't keep the spa clean. I couldn't keep the chemicals controlled. And I can write out all the all the equations to tell you how that works and I still couldn't do it. So I figured if I can't do that, nobody's going to be able to do it. That if the moss is good enough for the lakes, it's good enough for my spa. So I got some moss from the lab, I put it in a paint strainer bag from Home Depot and threw it in the spa. Two weeks later the water was clean, clear and perfect. Before switching to the moss treatment system, the play equipment in the children's pool was faded to almost white due to biofilm. Lifeguards were cleaning pool water lines and play equipment weekly. After the moss system was installed, colors were restored and looked like new. Lifeguards no longer needed to clean the water line. When the pool was drained, it no longer required scrubbing. In fact, it appeared as though it had been power washed with a strong acid. Swimmers and staff noted the changes. Well, we didn't tell anybody about the experiment at the beginning of the, of the year, but by the end of the summer, people were coming up to us and saying, boy, my skin feels better, it's not as dry, uh, my hair hasn't turned color, my suits haven't deteriorated, uh, it's just been, it's great, what did you do differently? The other things that we noticed were if, uh, if there was a particularly heavy weekend where there were a lot of users, uh, the, the pool was cleared almost immediately. There wasn't this long process that it normally takes where we put a lot of chemicals in uh, and then after a day or two the water is back to its uh, kind of normal clarity. With the moss system we saw immediate benefits from it and uh, immediate clarity after even a very very busy weekend in the middle of the summer. Because of the reduced need for pool conditioners such as chlorine and cyanuric acid, equipment was less exposed to hazardous chemicals and so less equipment maintenance was needed. Mike Hom, City of St. Paul Parks and Recreation Director, noted that customer traffic at city pools increased. Uh, a little sunshine still helps to get people to the outdoor pools, but uh, as a big part of getting people to come out is the product, and our product is markedly better. 
with the Moss uh, water treatment products. In the first year that we operated with this at both of our pool sites, the hard savings were a $36,000 reduction in chemical costs and then a $40,000 reduction in staffing costs for uh, primarily for overtime to service the facilities. So that's a lot of savings to offset uh, any, any costs associated with introducing the product. Overall, the city realized a $100,000 increase in revenue after city pools were fitted with the new Moss filters in 2009.